I'm clear, homie. Hi, Trevor. How are you doing this afternoon? Awesome. How about you guys? Doing well. Uh, my name is Caitlin Powell, and I am going to be stepping in through the operation of Pisces from Oklahoma State University. Uh, while we're testing, if you have any questions or comments, please communicate those with me. That is our tool. Yes. Awesome. All right, I've got the tool in my hand. We confirmed it's the right one. Let's get started. Looking forward Let's to it. Let's get started. Um, the first thing we are going to do is help you get to know the tool Pisces. I want to make sure you know all the portions of the tool that I will be referring to and what I'll be calling them. So first we have the handle. Um, this is the three lower sections of, of the device. Currently it is in the full extension. Yes, those three sections. They are connected by bungee cords. So as we disconnect them, the bungee cord will be exposed. Um, if you can look at the handle where the pieces connect, there are arrows pointing towards each other, and that marks the correct orientation of how they will be assembled. And then in the lower two sections of the handle, there are grooves filed in, which indicate the gripping section for use. Do you see all those markings? Uh, the lower section grooves. Okay, so for the lower cool. section grooves, um, it basically marks the distance between the lower connection. So as long as you grip between, yeah, right there, that's Got where it. we'll be you to grip. Yes. Got um, it. So the next portion of the tool, we call it the functioning scoop head, but I will abbreviate this to fish. And the fish is the portion at the top of the handle that will collect and store any sample. So it is the, the cylinder on the top of the handle. This is the fish. Got it. So the Good. fish has the lid on both the top and the bottom. And then connecting the two lids, you have the lid connector, which is the purple plastic piece on your left side. Copy all. So the lid connector, um, the, you will see two on the top and the bottom lid. And when, during operation, I will ask you to have the handle in your left hand and across the lid connector where those screws are with your right hand to open and close. Copy. And then finally, we have the collar, which is located below the fish, and it is ring around the upper third of the handle, which will lock, uh, which, which will close and lock um, the sample. Do you have any questions so far? No, got it all. Sounds great. Okay. So we are going to continue into testing. Um, the first test we are going to be performing is the handle test. So it is currently in a fully extended position, um, whereas during testing we will have it initially in the collapsed and locked position. So if you want to go ahead and separate the handle, you'll take the bottom piece and pull it out and then kind of fold it up. Yeah, like that. And then take it and disassemble that. So that this, yeah, just like that. Awesome. That's how it will be stored in your bag and how we will begin testing. But this test is going to be still, so we're actually going to reverse those steps and connect the handle together by pushing the top portion of each section into the bottom portion, aligning those arrows earlier. Copy, so you want me to reverse that and realign? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we'll grip the tool between the two markings on the bottom, so across that lower connection. Copy. Um, and so I have a few questions for you. Um, are you able to maneuver the tool easy, easily in the EVA glove? Diameter of the handle is an appropriate fit. Yeah, I was able to grab pretty well. Um, it's maybe a little on the larger diameter. So I can maybe go a little bit smaller. Uh, my hands are probably more on the large sides of regular uh, yeah. subjects. Um, but otherwise, it's got a good grip to it. Um, and uh, that's the only words on that. Otherwise, okay. it feels pretty good. Can you feel any looseness in the connection of the handles? So if you were to like move the device around, um, like through the water, is does it feel like it's going to come unattached? The yeah, there's some there's a little bit of play between the, the three segments that you described. But if I grip where you told me to on the lower, that helps hold that segment together. 
and the top one has a little bit less play, but it, I don't think it's going to come apart. I'm shaking it pretty, yeah. pretty violently, and it's 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 holding a pretty good, pretty good. Okay, thank you. So we are going to move forward with the collar and lid test. So I would like you to hold Pisces in your left hand, like having fish on top and the lid connects on the left, so you have it straight. The next thing we are going to do is grip um, the collar. So with your right hand, you're going to take the collar, which is the ring around the top, and you're going to turn it to the right and pull it down. So there should be a drawing that shows what's happening. There's a pin inside a groove, and we're trying to get that pin to the bottom of the groove. Okay. That's it was okay, so already to the right and it's pulled down. Yes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grip the lid connector across those screws on the top of the fish and we're going to open the lids. So, yeah. So you're going to grip where the screws are. Yeah. And yes, open it the whole 180. Okay. All the way open. Yeah, how is the operation in your EVA gloves? That's pretty uh, easily doable. I like the little extension here yes. that I'm able to grab with my thumb. And awesome. uh, it's a pretty smooth actuation all the way from closed to open. No resistance. And uh, it seems to stay there one in the open position without falling back. Okay, cool. Um, so one of the requirements for this challenge was there were a couple focus on safety. So have you noticed any potential um, hazards for entrapment, pinch points, or sharp edges in the use of the tool so far? Not so far. Uh, maybe the one place to note is maybe the edges of the handle attachment. Um, okay. I'm not, not sure if there would be any pinch points. You know, I mentioned about having my gloved hand on this joint here whether there's any pinch points there on the glove. That's only something to take a look at. Okay, thank you. Um, so the next thing, the next step we're going to do, we're going to move into the sample test. So if you take tight into your right hand, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Awesome. Um, so you'll take Pisces into your right hand, gripping across that lower hand connection. Um, you will move Pisces in a right to left scooping motion to retrieve a sample. So if you want to go down on you have an extendable handle to help extend your reach. So if you'll collect a sample between a half inch and two inches in diameter. Any type of float sample available. All right, there's a couple of different sizes here. There's one a little bit smaller than a ping pong. I think it's about the size you're looking for. We are looking to uh, fill the fish, but we will, to meet the requirement, it is acceptable acceptable to collect a couple of float samples. I won't have to isolate a single fish. Yeah. And so after we collect a sample, we're going to lightly shake to release small particles. So the extra stuff can be lowered. Um, did you experience any problem when collecting the samples? Uh, when I go after a, like a second or third sample, I have to be careful not to dump out my first one. Okay. Um, so just something to note there. But as I get an experience with the tool, um, I'm able to correct for that. And I've got uh, almost a pretty full allotment of uh, samples that are filling up the, the cup or the fish. Can I get a quantitative response on the type of sample you've collected, um, an estimated size and how many pieces? Yeah, so everything I picked up are dark vesicular basalts that range from a couple of centimeters long to ones that are just uh, smaller than a centimeter. And looks like I've got six or seven of them in the cup right now. Awesome. Um, and then, do you have any suggestions for the um, handle while in operation? I wasn't sure if putting the force into collecting a sample might cause it to loosen up or not. So I was wondering how the handle. Yeah. Uh, as I'm using the tool, I am finding the handle diameter uh, a okay. little bit big because I have to keep a constant grip on it, which gets yeah. a little fatiguing in these gloves. Um, and because of that first joint being a little wiggly, I have to give an extra strength to keep that together. But otherwise, it allows me 
a lot of uh, freedom to, to go after the samples that I'm looking to collect. Uh, just uh, maybe a little bit of improvements on the, uh, the handle design that, uh, that takes those things in account that I just said. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, so if you would go ahead and empty the contents of the fish, we're going to go into our last um, step test. So the final step test is the storage test. So we're going to rip Pisces back in the left hand. Copy. Rip across the lid connectors to close. The fish. We're going to put it back in the storage. And so you push that back. Copy. To where it sits basically flush. And then we're going to grab the collar and, up and turn it to the left in order to lock over that lid connector on the left side. Copy. The fish is locked. Um, and then we will disconnect the pieces and arranging them in line and then. Okay, we're at three minutes. All right, I've got it in its three components held together by its bungee. And I then am. Put that in the bag. Just a quick note on that. I am, yeah. as I'm holding this, I am unintentionally actuating the uh, rotation mechanism okay. back. Okay. So I'm just yeah. careful of that. And able to easily stow it back in the bag. Um, how was the operation in storing Pisces? Did you notice any additional safety hazard, hazard concerns? Negative. No. No other hazard concerns. Okay, so we are now going to begin the required time test of Pisces and run through all testing procedures as they would be performed during the Artemis mission. So we are, one of our tasks is to do a two minute timed unsealed stow tool. So that's what we perform is all these steps at once. Copy. Ready when you are. Start my timer and we will begin. So I'll ask you to remove Pisces from the storage location. Okay. It's unstowed and it all naturally goes into its extended. Yeah, you want to verify that the arrows are pointing towards each other to make sure that they are aligned correctly. Um, so we'll grip the tool in our left hand and across that lower section. Then we will undo the collar, yeah, left and then down, and then gripping across the lid connector with the fish heads. Then we will take a sample doing a right to left motion. So yes, switching into right hand. Nice. And then shake out all the eggs. So. All right, I've got a good sample sweep. And we'll switch it back to our left hand. Grip across the lid connectors and rotate the counterclockwise back to a closed position. And then grab the collar, slide it up. All right, the collar seems to have a little bit of sand in there. I was able to make it uh, make it work in the lock okay. position. Yes, and then we will disconnect the handles and return Pisces to the storage bag. And that is the completion of the Artemis test. Uh, can you please summarize the performance of Pisces? Yeah, so overall it did its job, right? It got the a number of nice samples. Uh, it, all, it easily was able to sift out the uh, surrounding regolith and collect those those samples. It uh, could be some minor improvements in the in the gripping of the in the handle construction, and maybe some contingency for some thinking about how to make that locking mechanism a little more dust tolerant and a little bit more of a actual locking where you, you can't actually. Uh, Inadvertently right. put it in the wrong We are paper. currently out of time. Otherwise, thank you so much really for testing Pisces today. Yeah, thank you for your time. I really appreciated using the tool, and uh, great job. Talk to you later in the debrief. Yes, sir.
Next up. All right, next up we have uh, University of Texas, Austin, Longhorn Moonshots. You guys are up and ready. 